the young people here will be inspired by these dedicated heroes, like Carl and the Living Brothers and the other heroes from Holly. We hope our young people will strive to be all they can be, like the young man that we are honoring today with the Carl Richter Scholarship. Carl's class of 1960 created the Carl Richter Memorial Scholarship after Carl's death in 1967. 54 deserving young men have been given this award, and this year is no exception. There were many outstanding candidates this year. The young man chosen has a 3.2 grade point average and is 122nd in a class of 255. His classes were Spanish II, Economics, Government, Earth Science, Algebra II, Literature and Language, and Advanced Conditioning, which is conditioning and fine-tuning of the athlete's body. In his freshman year, he earned his academic letter. This is given to an athlete with a high GPA. He played football two years and was team captain in his senior year, playing both offense and defense. After practice, he would referee the youth games and be on the chain gang, which moves the marker down the sidelines. Being from Detroit, I had a different idea of a chain gang. <laughs> He earned his letter in baseball and wrestling all four years. In 2019 and 2020, he was third in the Flint Metro Wrestling League. In 2020, he was first in the Tri-County Times match and eighth in the All-State Finals in 2021. Freshman year was voted most dedicated wrestler and junior year got the coach's character award. Senior year, he was team captain. His plans are to attend St. Clair Community College where he will be playing baseball and getting his teacher's degree. He'd ultimately like to be an athletic director. The way he likes to work with young athletes and the pride he feels in their successes makes us think he'll be a great director. His young brother and many others are spurred on by his help. One year he inspired an entire group to join the wrestling team. He's good hearted and can be counted on to always do his best for others. I know Carl would be honored to meet this young man and his parents Todd and Julie can be proud of the good job they've done raising such a fine young man. Now let's meet this special young man, Jeffrey Preston. Thank you. 